Once again, Suella Braverman is to be excoriated along with James Cleverly and this nonsense over Afghanistan. We gave our word to those Afghans who were helping the British in the war effort which was aborted because of Biden's uh, stupidity. Uh, these Afghans are now caught in a situation where they've been told to go to Pakistan, they don't have proper visas, and we have not picked them up. It is utterly reprehensible. Now Pakistan is starting a clampdown on people without proper visas, and these people are getting caught up in that because of our inability to keep our word. And that is the key. It is a matter of honour. And people have, people have applied to the British for help. They've given the British their passports. They, th therefore, they don't have a visa to show for Pakistan. Therefore, they are utterly stranded, utterly stranded, while our system, in its pompous arrogance in the UK gets on with doing pretty well nothing because our home office is inflated with the concept of a hostile environment, with tardiness, with laziness. And it's summed up by our home office minister who is ill prepared when she goes to sit in front of a commons committee who hasn't done her homework who is demonstrably ill-prepared. And she's now transferring this to others, and others will find that they are without support, without help, and that people cannot trust our word. And that is shameful, utterly, utterly shameful, from a government which claims to be conservative. Its word cannot be trusted. We saw this, of course, with Mrs. May and the treatment of the Windrush generation. We've seen it increasingly since then, but we see it particularly with the arrogant indifference to people from Afghanistan who gave their lives on the basis that our word was our bond, which it has proven not to be. In fact, of course, you only have to telephone the local council you only have to telephone your bank. And when you've been rolling out a, uh, a policy, when you've been following a policy that you've been told to follow by one individual on the phone, and then another individual says, oh, no, that's not correct. No apology, no leeway. It's just the previous person who told you to do something is, quote, not right. And this new person tells you they are right. And it goes all the way through our system. We cannot believe a word we are told. And we've got used to that in the UK. We've got used to that from our banks, from our building societies, from our councils, from the NHS. We've got used to it, that we cannot believe what we are told. And now we're transferring that policy to people caught in Pakistan, to Afghans caught in Pakistan, who actually took it seriously that what they were told they could believe. There is a word for this. It's called deceit. It's called betrayal. It's called dishonour. 